was waiting on Dimitri. He's taking 10 years. But he likes telling people that I'm, that he's always waiting on me. False information. Fake news. I was just sitting here waiting for him the entire time. And you guys are the witnesses. Make like coffee. It took like you two seconds. You guys are the witnesses to this. Uh, I was oh. sitting here ready and waiting. You're always like, you're always like, baby, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I was ready. sitting then... here waiting and ready. And um, who was waiting for who this time, right? Mm-hmm. Just letting y'all know the truth. The truth behind the truth. Um, she wins one time. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it. And you got photo evidence on it too, which I is the worst evidence, part. I have evidence, you know. Okay, so we're going to be doing the interracial relationship tag. Oh, that is a mouthful. Interracial relationship tag. So we literally went online and took pictures of the questions. We haven't seen them. We don't even know what most of them are. Okay, I saw the fir- the very first question. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I saw the very first you're question. Peaking. You're asking the question. You're you want me to talk to the people? You're talking to the people today, baby. That coffee's good. Thank you. It's not that good. Well, <laughs> she's just saying that. Can I tell you guys something? I never started drinking coffee until I started dating Dimitri. And I never started drinking coffee until I met her. She keeps me up all night, so I have to drink coffee now. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. What are your backgrounds? I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican and Chinese. But my dad is Jamaican, Chinese. That's where the Wong comes from. Yes, for all those people wondering why my last name's Wong. I'm Greek, obviously, like... You know, I've got the, the olive skin. I don't think it's that obvious and, and, that and, you're Greek. And and the, the Greek nose. It's like a, it's like a package deal. I don't get like the package nose deal. thing. Like, he always talks about Yo, it. No, I've got the Greekest nose you've ever seen. I don't know that Why much. do you think, like, when we go to a club, I can spot out the Greek guy from across the bar? You see that nose? That guy is Greek. Rolls eyes. <laughs> where were you born, and where did you grow up? I was born in Jamaica. And I moved to Canada when I was 11. So I was born in Jamaica, but I grew up in Canada. Moved here when I was 11. And I was born in Edson, Alberta, as Ica refers to it. Whitesville. (laughs) He was born, I'm not, guys, I'm not joking. He is from a town of 8,000 people with one stoplight. I'm sorry, 8,000 white people. There are no... Black people there at all. They should change Edson to Caucasianville. Was it uncomfortable? I mean, okay, this is the thing. So when he brought me to Edson, we just watched Get Out. <laughs> 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 and I was and I was like, what the hell? Like, you better not have no basements down here. I don't want to see no teacups. It's it's different because it's not diverse. There's no black people there. <laughs> Not one. What languages do you speak? I speak English. Um, and being from a Jamaican family, they also speak broken English. But it's still all English. Do you guys have a name for it? Patois. Patois. Yeah. I speak Greek and, uh, and English, obviously. But, uh, you know, I really just use my Greek when, um, when I don't want her to hear what I'm saying. He's lying. <laughs> He's lying. Is it your first time dating outside your race? Yeah, it's my first time. This is your first time? My first time. Me too. Me yeah. too. There are no black girls in Edson, so. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that. But it's, it's true. I, I've never had the opportunity to, so. You ever heard the saying that, like, you know, once you go black, you just don't ever go back? Yeah, and it rings true. It's just, it's you guys are so much more fun, honestly. I just don't want to get in trouble with white people. Okay. But... <laughs> okay. How did your family feel about your choice in partner? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> uh, you know what? Can I tell you? So my family is pretty diverse. Like, my family did not care that you're white at all. Yeah, I don't think my family like cared. I think they cared more about it, like you know, the extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> can the guy buy a house? The guy can buy a house. He can buy a house. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't, I don't think my family cared. I think they were surprised. Like, and, and like, you know, you're saying you're Jamaican Chinese and this and that. Like, I am Greek through and through and through. And I am uh, the first one rebelling against the Greek women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the first person in his family to date a black girl. Yeah, 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 wow. for sure. I didn't even think about I 
better than what that is. Look at you. I'm here making changes. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Revolutionary. Yeah, yeah. He's the first one to date outside of his. So and like like you know they're they're born in Greece. I think like you know obviously they're like find oh, a good Greek woman, but it's just like no, I won't. I mean, I feel like you know like. Families will always want you to do what they want, but at the end of it, like if you love someone, they'll accept the person yeah. you love. I like my little Caribbean queen. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Don't you think it would be easier to date within your race? I mean, it'll be easier in the fact of like be like on time for things because we're late for everything, and it's fairly one-sided. But um, I can't believe you're blaming that on a block. A black thing. That's not a black thing. You guys always say it. we're on black time. Okay. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you eat your own words. Do people stare at you when you go on dates? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think... I, I don't think a ton of it is because, like, we're interracial, though. Or, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I feel like because we were on this show, sometimes people look at us probably... I'm not quite sure if it's because we're interracial or it's because of the show. Right. This is the thing. When you're dating someone, when you're an interracial couple, if I feel uncomfortable, he'll feel uncomfortable yeah. as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there there've definitely been a time where I've been around someone who he's introduced me to where I felt uncomfortable and he felt uncomfortable as well. We we just both felt like mm, yeah. this is weird. I feel like black guys give you more dirty looks than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can I can feel the black guys looking at me when I'm holding her hand. Because God, like look at her, they're just like, oh, this guy stole a good one. No, like, <laughs> this guy took one of our best ones. Like God damn it! I took him to get some jerk chicken in Toronto, and he got some. I got some looks. Mm -hmm. Well, and they were saying stuff to me too. Yeah, they were making little comments, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> whatever. What is your favorite dish from your partner's country? She makes this Jamaican soup that is just so freaking good. It makes me want to go out and into the cold without a shirt on so I can catch a cold so she can make this soup for me because it's just, it's so freaking good. <laughs> it is that like, it's the Jamaican like pumpkin and chicken soup. He likes it a lot. <sighs> and I make it for him sometimes. But your tzatziki is good. Tzatziki is good. You should, well, I made her eat an olive one time. Oh my God, she spit it out everywhere. It was hilarious. I hate olives. Like, it didn't even touch your lips. It's gross. I love olives. Gross. He eats them for like a midnight snack, for brunch, for lunch. I'm you wrote them off before you even tried them. Like, I don't like it. I don't want to eat it. I'm like, just eat it. And then it's just like, of course, as soon as I hit your lips, I don't. It's gross. It's disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> Do you worry your kids will be bullied? I don't get this question. Like, why, why would they be bullied? I think you're only asking because back in the day, mixed children were bullied. Yeah, but we ain't back in the day. And, and I know. No way. They're going to have all the best genetics. However, we were talking about, like, kids and babies and stuff. And, um, Dimitri. Uh-oh. <laughs> you were going with it? I think so. <laughs> Before you go and judge me, just listen to what she says and just... Just wait for my side of the story, okay? Uh, this was a big miscommunication. He's interrupting. He's big interrupting. Big misunderstanding, okay? It's going to sound a finish. lot worse than it is. So before you just listen to her side, just just wait for the rebuttal, okay? You see how he's he's interrupting me right now? because I'm, he I'm knows. priming you guys up. Okay, so we're talking about kids and stuff, and all of a sudden, he's like, oh, my friends would make fun of me if I had a black baby. Sounds bad. What? Hear me what out. What kind of racist? Hear me out. Hear me out. It has nothing to do with the kid being black. They just simply will like make fun of you because they're going to be like, that kid's not yours. Like Why they're going to be like, yours? because my friends are stupid and they, they just want to like reiterate the fact like, oh, you're like, you know, that's not your kid. Why? Like, Why wouldn't it be your child? Because it doesn't necessarily look a lot like me. Why like it's going it, to be, a, me ask it's going to be a couple shades darker. Why wouldn't it look like you because they would be like you're white and your kid's black so it's not yours that's what they would say but because so because your the skin is darker it doesn't mean the kid won't the kid will still look like you they're, they're joking though they're not like dead serious they actually know the kid is mine they're just gonna joke about it my kid could have blue eyes and my friends would be like oh the mailman came and uh like you know 
had sex with your old lady and that's not your kid. It has blue eyes. Ha ha ha. Joke, joke, joke. He's and not, they're He's idiots. not going to have blue eyes. I don't have blue eyes. You're, you're not making any sense. I'm just saying that it's not the skin thing. It's just the fact that... Well, like, he just it, said that it could be darker. So well, I mean, yes, because instead of like blue eyes and brown eyes, it's like white skin, dark skin. I am sorry, but your racist friends talking about... <laughs> They would make fun of you for having a black baby. I was very offended by that. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you say it out loud, it's just like, oh yeah, that sounds really bad. Um, and, and and the friends that I am talking about, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but but you get what I'm saying? Why it could come off as being offensive? I 100. When, like, he, when he said it out loud, I'm like, oh, that sounds bad. But that's not. They're, they're not making fun of the baby because it's black. The joke is is. Based on us looking different, let's say that. But what if your baby looked like you? Well, I mean, they're they're, they're looking for the joke. They're gonna make the joke. Well, I'm sorry, my baby is no joke. <laughs> try it. My unborn baby is no joke. <laughs> Y'all tried it. Do not make fun of. Y'all tried my her. unborn child. But no, he's not getting bullied. Why well, has to be a he? Why can't it be a girl? No, we are gonna have a little he. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. What is one thing you have learned from dating outside your own race? Okay, I I, I got I got an answer for this. He's gonna say some dumb joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I'm I'm dead serious. Um, I think like before I met Aika, I was like super ignorant to like the fact of like some like society issues that we have, and like I'm just way more aware of like. Like, I thought it was 2017, 2018, and, like, everybody was cool. Like, racism didn't really exist anymore. And, and you know, everybody was on with it because, like, you know, obviously I don't have any feelings like that. But after after Day Nike, like, I'm aware of that there is a lot of people and it's still an issue out there. I remember, like, leaving the Black Panther movie that we went and watched and she was like, that movie was unreal. And I can tell she was just, like, super loved it. And I was just like... Like, it was a good movie, like, whatever, but then she kind of, like, told me, like, it's important because, you know, black people are, are always portrayed in these movies and in such negative roles, and then finally they have a movie where everyone's heroes and everybody's a, depicted in a positive way, and it's just like, whoa, I never even thought about that, I didn't even know those were issues that existed until I dated her, and uh, now I'm just, like, way more aware mm -hmm. of what's going on, and, and just, like, I'm just not ignorant to it before, and I feel, like, dumb that I, I just, like, assumed that that stuff was, like, not even a thing anymore, when it's just so unbelievably obvious to me now. You know what, I feel like when you are dating outside of your race, it is important that the person that you're dating understands, you know, um, your culture and understands what's important to you and your history and we talk about that stuff um because you know he has to he has to learn about all the black excellence y'all you know he just has to <laughs> so <extra. laughs> um i feel like for me i've learned for sure how to be more open-minded i'm from toronto and dimitri is from small, small town. town you know um whereas like i have never gone skiing fishing mountain climbing i don't do stuff like that i just don't and i feel like with them it's so weird because i feel like i learned that when you really love someone their interest um is not like a chore it's not boring it's like an adventure like being with him is like an adventure it's so much fun it's fun you know it's, fun. it's super fun isn't it yeah and then, as for the stupid comment that she was referring to earlier, I'll just insert that now. Um, I've learned a lot about black hair care. It is a whole topic on its own, and we'll you, probably have I to make stand you. another video on that later. Black hair. <laughs> so that's it for today. Um, if we missed any questions, let us know. I, I feel like we've answered a bunch of the popular questions. Um, catch us on our next video and you could like this one for us. Thank you. Thanks guys. <laughs> like it. Subscribe. <laughs> just do it. I feel like your family, I don't know if that they care that I'm black as much. I think they just care that you love me too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're yeah. just a little jealous. Come on, what you love me. <laughs> okay, come, 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 come. My little Caribbean queen. <laughs> oh my God. It is true. <laughs> okay, come. You're so hot.